Welcome back to another math class. Today we're going to continue talking about rounding or estimating sums, but today we're going to talk about uh, rounding instead. We're going to talk about um, finding estimates uh, through rounding. Okay, so we're going to start with, um, let's see, let's start with the same problem we did yesterday. Let's start with 432 plus 489. Now remember, when we're estimating sums, I'm not worried about the exact answer. I don't really want to know what the exact answer is. I want to know about how much it would be. Okay, so 432, if I round it to the nearest hundred, since there's a hundreds place, I'm going to round it to there. I look at the neighbor, and the 3 is below 5, so it's going to leave the 4 alone. So 432 is closer to 400. Now, let's look at 489. The 8 is higher than 5, so that's going to push the 4 up to the next 100, which would be 500. So, I can round those. 400 plus 500 is 900. So, 432 plus 489 is about 900. So, all we do is we round to the nearest 100 and then add those estimates. Okay, let's try another one. All right, let's do 304 plus 494. Oops. All right, so I'm going to have you pause it here so that you can round these to the nearest hundred and then estimate that sum, and then we'll work it together. So press pause. When you're finished, press play, and we'll work it out. All right, here we go. All right, so check your work as I check it up here, as I do it up here. 304 would round to 300. 494 would round to 500. So 300 plus 500 is 800. So 304 plus 494 is about 800. All right, so I'm going to give you a problem to solve for tomorrow. So I'm out of paper, so I'm just going to do it on the back here. All right, so bring with you to class tomorrow the answer to this. Let's do 275 plus 231. Okay, so you're going to round that to the nearest hundred and estimate the sum and bring that with you tomorrow to class. That will be your ticket into math class.